previously on Legally Blonde the Musical, The Search for Elle Woods. Oh my God, you guys. When it came to be like my turn, she didn't even go through it. The competition heated up as the girls stopped working together. You better watch your back. It was the most difficult audition yet, and the pressure from the judges took its toll. They just come in and they talk down to us like we're f two years old. <laughs> In the end, Cassie S. sold out her competition. Did you feel like girls were kind of pooping out on yours? Definitely, definitely. That pissed me off. She threw us all under a bus. Not cool. Cassie. And then stunned everyone when she made the list. Out of every girl in the house, she's the least Elwoods. When Emma, Lindsay, Lauren, and Selena were sent to the casting office, Lindsay was cut loose from the competition. My dreams have been shattered. I mean, for Broadway, you don't get more than one shot. Tonight, Cassie pays a hefty price for betraying the group. If you're not a team player, you won't last long. And the girls find out what happens when the judges get serious. Show us that you're a Broadway star, yeah. not just a talented actress. Now, eight aspiring Broadway stars remain. Who has what it takes to be the next Elle Woods? It's really stressful while we sit there and wait for the girls to come home, especially because we don't know who's coming home. And who's going to be really worried? surprised if Emma doesn't walk in the door? Oh, oh so I'll be so surprised. surprised. We all usually just sit in the living room and just wait for somebody to walk through the door. I will be surprised if Selena doesn't walk through the door. And the other so two, based on the that, other two are, uh, are half and half. Oh. When I saw Emma walk in that door and Lindsay wasn't there, I just ran to um, Emma and just hugged her. I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's really sad. Here you go. No, it's, a, it's all good. Thanks. <laughs> When I found out I was in the bottom four, I was absolutely mortified. Can you need a minute? Um, yeah, thanks. My whole confidence in this entire competition went down the drain. <laughs> Did you guys get good, like, constructive? No. What did they say to Lindsay? When I got back to the loft, everyone really wanted to hear what was going on with the casting office. And I would have been happy to, to tell them, but I, I was just so almost offended by what Cassie had said. Did you feel like girls were kind of pooping out and you're like, come on, guys? Definitely. I'll be honest. I was behind everybody. I, I'm not sure that I necessarily get the feel that everybody is behind me, but I could care less. Cassie, I'm really, like, what you said out there about us, I just felt like you completely let me down. I mean, I, I, all let us. all of us down. This is a heightened situation, and sometimes I think you perceive things differently than, like, they're actually happen. And I know you didn't mean to do it because you came back and you're like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give them a name. But essentially, you gave them each of our names. All the girls ganged up on me and told me that they thought that I had thrown them under the bus and that I was a completely fake person and all of these crazy thoughts that they had all thought of me so far and had yet to say to my face. I didn't even know what to say. I just stood there with my eyes wide open and my jaw dropping to the floor. We felt like you fumbled the ball and... Blamed it on us. And blamed it on us. Basically, you were like, well, they all kind of pooped out when I was working. But that is what I felt like. Some of you did poop out, and I felt like a lot of you did leave me sort of hanging. You need to like just concentrate and think before you speak. You speak because we mm -hmm. all work hard. We're all there together. We so it's just like yeah, and you can't make yourself feel better by making others feel worse. The fact of the matter is, is that maybe towards the end we were goofing around more, 
but I was your shop girl, and I know every single face was here. In order to be on Broadway, you have to be a team player. And if you're not, you won't last long. I just, I'm, I don't do girls. Like, I don't have girl friends, and like, I don't know how to talk to girls, and like, I just, there's so many of us that it's like, it's hard to figure out, like, where are you, like. You're unintentionally ostracizing yourself from the group. Because you take everything personally, and it's not always about you. There is some major tension in the house right now. I don't know what's going on. It's like, I think we all need to just get a good night's rest. Today, we woke up and we got our call sheet. All right, read it, girl. And it told us to dress casually and comfortably. Our special notes and instructions are to go to Brittany Telsey's studio and to bring our notebook and pen. Okay. okay. Oh, right. Wow, no clues whatsoever. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect with the workshop. I mean, last week we ended up bicycling on ellipticals while belting, so who knows? I have a feeling we're acting again. I mean, we're not dancing, obviously. Right. I have no idea what to anticipate. My brain has racked through every scenario, and I'm just tired of thinking about it. I am really nervous. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I know that as a performer, I will be ready. Let's do this, <gasps> guys. Prilosec OTC. Knock heartburn into a whole new zip code. 24-7. Satisfaction guaranteed. Prilosec OTC. Heartburn gone, power on. We walked into Telsey's office, and I was expecting to have another acting session with Mark Bruni. Let's do this. <gasps> Hi, guys. But instead, we met <laughs> dogs. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> oh my god, I must have looked like three years old. My fists went like this, and I was like steaming. I was so excited. Hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to introduce you guys to Bo Berloni. He's the animal trainer for Legally Blonde the Musical. Nice to meet you guys. This is my assistant, Kylan. He'll be working with us. Hi. Hi. And this is Boo Boo, and this is Teddy. They play Bruiser in Legally Blonde. I'm Elle Woods, and this is Bruiser Woods. So, outside to you guys, Snaps, first day of Harvard Law. One of the most unique relationships in the musical is between Elle and Bruiser. So we want to watch you guys bond with the dogs. Now, this workshop is going to be a little different than the last one because this time we'll be taking your work home with you. <gasps> After working with Bill here today, you guys are gonna have a sleepover with both of the dogs, just like Laura Bell, because she still has sleepovers with the dogs to continue to bond with them throughout the show. And tomorrow, Bill will decide who bonded best with the dogs and declare that person the winner. The workshop's top performer will receive a fun reward that will give them an advantage in the next round of auditions for the judges. So have fun in your workshop with Bill and Kylan today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks, Haley. Well, come on and say hello. The reason I think we had this workshop was to see how well the actresses can work with dogs. It's important if you are going to play Elle Woods, you're going to have to be able to do that on Broadway with Bruiser. All right, you're going to say boo boo heel. You're going to show me as a treat. Boo boo heel. Good. <laughs> Good. So one of the things that I'll be looking for is, you know, if the dogs pick out somebody that they they innately sense they can trust. Teddy, stay. Good, 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 good. Do you see how when you love him, he looks around you? Mm-hmm. Good. If an actor is uncomfortable with an animal, the animal will automatically sort of pull away from them. You know, it has to look like they're attached to you and not just an accessory. OK. This uh -huh. looks like you're dragging a dog. 
you drag a little dog on stage. The audience is going to hate you, okay? <laughs> I mean, it kind of does worry me a little bit, just for the mere fact that, you know, I never commanded a dog. My dog at home is stupid. He does not do anything you tell him to do. <laughs> they are the cutest dogs ever. So well behaved. I mean, they're better behaved than all the girls in the house. They were clearly very overwhelmed when they came into the apartment. Shh, chill. There you go. Calm it down. So I did not want to add to their anxiety by running after them, screaming their names. I feel like dogs tend to gravitate towards me, and um, I felt some kind of connection. Good job. Good job. Good. While we were bonding with the dogs, I thought Lauren, you know, really did a good job. Thank you for being so cool. Oh. <laughs> Teddy, hi. Cassie had said that she was feeling like she didn't know how to handle dogs. Teddy, stay. Oh, or not. <sighs> it's okay. Can't blame the dog. Obviously, I have trust issues. Huh? Let's just be good friends. I'm not really feeling really good this morning. Um, my chest really is burns and um, my nose is totally stuffed up. Oh my god. I feel like I've been hit by a back truck. Mm. <laughs> hey girls! Girls, you guys remember the animal trainer, Bill, and his assistant, Kylan? Hi. Bill would be deciding who had the best connection with the dogs. Your reward for that is you will go on a little doggy date with Teddy and Boo Boo and with Richard Blake. Richard stars as Warner Huntington III in Legally Blonde the Musical. When I heard what the reward was, I got really excited. <laughs> okay, so let's see who made the best connection with the dogs. Bill, you want to put them through the paces? Absolutely. So let's start with Rihanna. Teddy, heel. Good. Good boy. Teddy, stay. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Yay! All right. Could you hand the bag to Autumn? Booba, stay. Good boy. Great. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, will you please hand the bag to Cassie? Teddy, stay. Teddy? Teddy, stay. All right. We've made our decision, and like mm -hmm. any audition, it comes to a moment of truth, and we have to go on what we've seen. My choice would be. Prilosec OTC. Knock heartburn into a whole new zip code. 24 7. Satisfaction guaranteed. Prilosec OTC. Heartburn gone, power on. Bill will be picking the girl that had the best connection with the dogs. And the reward is you will go on a little doggy date with Richard Blake. Hi. <laughs> I really want to win this reward, you know? Who wouldn't want to get a reward that could possibly give them an advantage in the next audition? Richard Blake, and he's a hottie. <laughs> You're all wonderful. You're all great. You all love dogs. Mm -hmm. But like any audition, it comes to a moment of truth. And we have to go on what we've seen. My choice would be. Autumn. <gasps> yes! Score one, Autumn. I was like, where's my class? I, I need blush. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be Richard Blake. Oh no, thank you. Oh, my. Oh, hi guys. 
she came right in and seemed the most natural. She needed the, the least amount of basic corrections out of the girls that I saw. And I was impressed by that. Thank you. The next part of the surprise is you get to choose a girl to go with you. Oh. <laughs> I think that I'm just going to pick Selena. So. <laughs> In the house, it started really getting to, to be a little clicky. Selena's really, really good friends with Autumn now, and I'm not really clicky with anybody, so I'm kind of like the oddball out. So you guys take advantage of the time that you get with Richard, because he's going to play a really big part in your next audition. You'll be performing a section of the song Serious with Richard for the judges. <laughs> so everybody, take a look. You're breaking up with me, but I, I thought you were proposing. This scene is really challenging because it has a lot of highs and lows in it. It's a very funny, comedic scene, and comedy is all about the timing. And I really feel like that's really a challenge because I don't want it to come across as forced or fake. So remember, based on this audition and performance, one of you will be going home. So study hard, work hard at it, and Autumn, Selena, enjoy your day. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Tonight for the reward, Selena and I got to meet Richard Blake. Hi. Hi, ladies. We walked in, and <laughs> there in the back is hottie Richard Blake with roses for both of us and champagne and chocolates, and it was a cute little setup. So how's it been going for you guys? You've been having a good time so far? Amazingly, yes. I've been having such a good time. Yeah, it's been really hard and stressful. Yeah. That's what it's all about. You know, we went, we went, we went through it for, gosh. Uh, months and months. Months and months, yeah. Richard Blake is absolutely charming. Just down to earth, charismatic, and just a total sweetheart. What do you think the best way is to develop a chemistry, like a bond, quickly? I mean, uh, we're, we're doing the scene with make you out. tomorrow. Just full on make out. <laughs> <laughs> I know that getting to spend time with Richard Blake is going to help me in the audition tomorrow because now I have a chemistry with him, and I just think we have now a certain rapport that might not show up with some of the other girls, and I think that's going to be awesome on stage. Hey, well, welcome back. Thank you. I'm Dennis Jones. I'm the associate choreographer of Legally Blonde the Musical. And today, Seth, the vocal coach, and I will be teaching the girls the serious scene from the show. This is really a, a test of your comic and dramatic chops. There's a beat change where Elle is going from thinking that she's getting proposed to to the complete devastation of discovering that she's actually being dumped. Uh, so first of all, have any of you guys been dumped? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Lauren. <laughs> Pretend you have been. Lauren, have you been or are you lying? Um, I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have. Hmm, that's fishy. Everyone else is laughing about their breakups. Yeah. You need to get in touch with the devastation. You know, you right. want the audience really to be devastated for you. Right. Let's just walk it through. Oh, Warner, tonight's just perfect. No, you're perfect. No, you are. This scene is such a combination of like all my strong points of singing, comedic acting. You. 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 OK, I'm even irritating myself. <laughs> so I feel like the cream will rise to the top because it is very rangy and very difficult, and I'm totally ready for it. I never thought that I. Oh, honey, I'm not finished. Oh, sorry. Since I was two or three. My life was planned on these. I think White House back east. All of the amenities. Oh, yes. Three kids on leashes like the Kennedys. <coughs> Sorry. Emma, you're having vocal problems. What's happening? It's not vocal problems, it's chest problems. Because I haven't smoked in it's almost three weeks now. Oh. I had a friend that was doing rent that quit smoking, and the coughing wound up. It hurt her. So, I mean, if you could even talk to the doctor about a healthy way of coughing, maybe. Oh, I'm going right after this. OK. You and I should break up. Oh, yes, I'll give you my hand. What? I thought you were proposing.
thing. I wonder if there isn't some more sort of personal exploration to do with this. It feels very frozen to me. You know, none of the judges wanted you to come back this week. When he said that, my heart like dropped. And I was like, what? Just kidding. But I, that's, oh the, my God. But that's the devastation you have to feel. <laughs> it has to be that shocking. Yeah. You oh know God. what I mean? I just want to see what I, Yeah. <laughs> but that's what it has to be. When I walked in the doctor's office, she asked me what my symptoms were. I told her. She looked at my vocal cords. She listened to my chest. She looked at my nose and my ears. And she said my ears were fine, but my nose was starting to look infected. Yeah, so I think it's definitely like a bronchitis at this point, and then settling, going up into the sinus. It's so important to be healthy for each and every audition because each and every audition decides whether you go home or whether you stay. And so the fact that I'm worse off today is really bad. What are extremely long lashes wearing this season? New CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. The Elasta Nylon Formula flexes without flaking, so women prefer it four to one, and lashes look up to 80% longer. New Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl. I'm pretty worried about my voice for today's auditions. I don't really know how that's going to affect my performance. I don't even know if I'll be able to audition today. Knowing that somebody is not going to be coming back to the Empire Hotel tonight is kind of devastating. And if I don't rock this audition, there is a chance that I could be going home. Going into today's audition, I feel really good. I feel like I know my stuff. I feel like overnight the song just totally seeped into my system and um, I can definitely, definitely sing it. So you girls better bring it. girls. Hi. Hi. Here we are at your next audition. Of course, based on today's audition, one of you will be sent home. You remember your judges? Broadway casting director Bernie Telsey, one of the writers from Legally Blonde the Musical, Heather Hawk, and Broadway diva himself, Paul Kanan. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you guys know for your audition, you'll be performing a section of the song Serious with your co-star Richard Blake. Hi. Hi. Beautiful today. Thank you. Ladies, you look lovely as well. <laughs> now, girls, do you guys think you're going to be able to focus working opposite such a good looking guy? Oh, yeah. 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 It'll be hard. Yeah. Maybe yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can I come back here every day? <laughs> okay, girls, it's time to audition in front of the judges. Remember, the next time I see you guys, I will have the list and we will know who's moving on in the competition and who must report to the casting office. Why don't you guys all go down to the dressing room and wait to be called and break the leg. I'm feeling a little nervous right now. I mean, I'm really excited to actually be performing with Richard H. Blake. And so I'm just going to go up there and do my best. And hopefully they'll be impressed with my performance. So baby, give me your hand. I've got some dreams to make true. I've got the future I'll play in. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious with you. Serious. serious. Gotta wake up and take our journey. Serious. serious. <laughs> you want the moon and sky? Then take it, don't be shy. Baby, that's why you and I, I should break up. Fantastic. So sorry. Great. Thank you so much. You are like Goldie Hawn. 
I'm sitting here feeling bad because I almost forgot to watch Richard. And you were surprised by things that should have surprised you, even though you knew it was coming. And it's so refreshing to see that. Thank you. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you? Uh, I'm from Warner, I'm from Malibu. I'm not exactly trailer trash. Richard Simmons is our neighbor. <laughs> yeah, oh, if I'm gonna be a senator when I'm 30, I'm gonna need somebody serious. <laughs> Less of a Marilyn, more of a Jackie. Serious. <laughs> somebody classy and not too tacky. What? It's okay, that came out wrong. <laughs> Baby, let's both be strong. I mean, we've known all the long. Oh, just shut up. I am seriously in love with you. <laughs> You know what, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just not seeing it. I'm having trouble seeing Elle Woods. I'm having trouble believing it. So more, more in the moment. Yeah, more everything. Yeah. You're trying different things, it's like you're grabbing different things, as opposed to, what does this scene need from me? I, I, I'm sorry that I somewhat disappointed you guys this week. It just sucks, because I could have worked harder. I could have, you know, instead of sleeping four hours last night, I could have slept two. Oh, Warner, tonight's just perfect. No, you are perfect. No, you are. No, you are. No, you. No, you. 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 You, you. okay, I'm even irritating myself. <laughs> so, baby, give me your hand. <laughs> A big white house back east. Uh -huh. All of the amenities. Yeah. Three kids at, at least, the just like the Kennedys. Here's where our lives our begin. Lives begin. Just where do you fit in? Fit me. I'll break it down now, baby. Oh, so, baby, oh, give me your oh, hand. Here's my hand, here's my hand. I've got some dreams to make true. She's bringing her own color. I know that you'll understand. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I understand. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious with serious. I feel like after a few weeks now, it, it's almost like repetitive and the same. And I, I need it to be a little bit more special and a little bit more than just a perfect Laura Bell Bundy portrayal. I felt like you brought your own voice <clears throat> and your own distinct feel to this. You're young and you have raw talent, but you have to set yourself apart and be different in every audition. How did you feel you did? My comedy beats yes, could time. have been a little bit like sharper. Or just there. I just didn't feel connected to it. We're trying to see you as Elle. I know, and I, I can see that you guys are having a difficult time doing that. I'm really gonna go up there and just try to be in the moment and try to let my strength, my comedy, you know, just come out, let it organically happen. A big white house for peace. Uh -huh. Three kids at least just like the Kennedys. I'll break it down now, baby. So, baby, give me your hand. Here's my hand, here's my hand. I've got some dreams to make true. We've both got dreams to make true. I know that you'll understand. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you, Warner. I'm from Malibu. I'm not exactly trailer trash here. I, Richard Simmons is our neighbor. It, it was confusing to me. Some of the humor was misplaced. I felt like the timing was off with Richard. I was like, Autumn's better than this. I am. That's what's so frustrating is that I absolutely know that I can do better. I'm horrified that that, uh, at my own audition, it had to be perfect and it had to be a certain way and I choked. Prilosec OTC. Knock heartburn into a whole new zip code, 24-7. Satisfaction guaranteed. Prilosec OTC. Heartburn gone, power on.
I'm sick, I have bronchitis. But the show must go on. I'm gonna just do as well as I possibly can and pray that I don't get sent home. Oh, Warner, tonight's just perfect. No, you are perfect. No, you are. No, you are. No, you. No, you. 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 Okay, I'm even irritating myself. <laughs> that was good. Here's where our lives our begin. Lives begin. Yeah. But just where do you fit in? Fit me in. I'll break it down now, baby. You uh, want the moon sky? Uh, then take it, don't be shy. Okay. Baby, that's why you and I, I should break up. Yes, baby, I'll give you my hand with what? I'm not serious. But I'm seriously in love with you. You were great. And I, you made me laugh. I hear this every single night. I mean, I saw things that I've not been seeing as much of the other days. I mean, funny, yes. touching. The fact know, that you yeah. sound like this with bronchitis is, did you feel that, that one note was a little weird? Uh, it's, yeah. yeah. You're really gonna take over acting wise against a lot of these other girls in the competition. And today you really shined in that department. Thank you guys so much. You made my day. Thank you. Feel better. Yeah. They loved it. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna go die. All right. Good day today, huh? It was a great it was. day. People I know, I are think standing out more. I mean, it's almost like a slam dunk today, but let's see if we're all on the same page. Rhiannon. Sparkle, Fun. sparkle. The best. Coco Physics. Makes me wanna dance. Lauren. It was yeah. brave and it was big. She big. brought a lot of colors. It was really colorful. She, her timing was completely off. Yeah. She was great. She's not this role. All right, Cassie? It was just so whiny, and <laughs> I just was so turned off in that moment. I wasn't with her sympathetically. Natalie. Her scene was flat today. It was not. Yeah. It was one of my yeah. least favorite scenes. Bailey. She's the same as she was on the first day we met her. We need to see more Bailey, which is what we've told her before. Mm -hmm. Show us that you're a Broadway star, yeah. not just a talented actress. When you're waiting for Haley to call your name, just standing in that line is terrifying, and you don't know if you're staying or going home. You're just sitting there, like, hoping and praying that your name is on that list. The judges have made their decision, and unfortunately, one of you will be going home tonight. The list contains the names of five girls that will be moving on in this competition. This means that there are three names that are not on the list. If your name is not on this list, you must immediately report to the casting office and face the judges, where one of you will be going home. If I read your name off the list, please step forward. The first name on the list is Rhiannon. Congratulations. You are moving on in this competition, and you have the chance of being the next Elle Woods on Broadway. Thank you. You may head down to the dressing room. I love you, girls. There are seven of you left on the stage, and only four names left on this list. The next name on the list is Emma, you are moving on in this competition. You can go down to the dressing room. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Like, I have every ailment known to man, and I still got called second by the judges, so I'm thrilled. Okay, girls, the next name on the list is Lauren. Congratulations. You can go down to the dressing room. When I heard Lauren's name called third, I was just thinking to myself, okay, well, I have to be next. I have to be next. This is so nerve wracking. The next name on the list, just say my name, say my name, say my name, is Bailey. 
Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. When I heard Bailey's name called, I really started to panic and freak out because I knew there was only one spot left. <laughs> okay, girls, there's one name left on this list. The next name on the list is What are extremely long lashes wearing this season? New CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. The Elasta Nylon Formula flexes without flaking, so women prefer it 4 to 1, and lashes look up to 80% longer. New Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl. Okay, girls, there's just one name left on this list. If your name is not on this list, you must immediately report to the casting office and face the judges. They were disappointed with your performance and want to have a word with you. God, that casting office is so horrible. I just, I don't want to go. Don't want to go. Okay, girls, only one of you is guaranteed to be moving on in this competition. The final name on the list is Natalie. Congratulations. You still have a chance of being the next Elle Woods on Broadway. Thank you. You can go to the dressing room. What? I know, I know exactly what you mean. Cassie, Selena, and Autumn, I'm sorry, your names are not on the list. You must go to the casting office where one of you will be going home tonight. I knew that I messed up in my performance today. I knew that was my worst performance to date. I think I deserve to be in the bottom three, absolutely, but I am not going home. I'm a little confused because I did a really good job today, and I know people did worse than I did. Maybe Elle is just not my part. This is ridiculous. I busted my ass the entire night. Come on, give me credit. Like, I, I've never even seen the material before. Doesn't that say something for me? Girls, I want to remind you what's at stake here. We're looking for a new Broadway star. The three of you are here because you were not on the list. And you're here because there were problems with your rendition of Sirius. Cassie. Yes, sir. I feel like you would make a very good swing and understudy. I don't want to be the swing or the understudy. I, I want to work my you know, yeah, but being an understudy or a swing is another chance for you to learn. But that's not going to make me a Broadway star. Selena, I didn't laugh. I don't think Heather laughed. I don't think Paul laughed. That was a big missing element. You know, it brought me back to that first day when we met that said, oh, this girl's really talented, but I don't see her as Elle. It was probably way too subtle for you guys to even see. <laughs> what part of you thinks that Legally Blonde is about being subtle? Autumn, why do you think you're up here? Um, I, out of all the competition, this is probably my worst performance, and I, I know you that. You had extra time with Richard, and yet the biggest hole today was that there was no connection to you and your co-star. I had a bad day today. I just... Every day at the show, nobody's walking around being like, oh, I messed up, I had a bad day. It has to be consistent. People are paying a lot of money to see the show. Can't blame it on a bad day. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we've come to a decision. Selena. You're cut. We just don't see you as Elle Woods. The audition world is hell. Stop, please win. <laughs> Getting eliminated is a huge disappointment. It feels like your heart just sinking. 
and there's nothing like that. All I can take home with me right now is the fact that I learned so much and I'm just a better person from this. Like, this has helped me beyond my wildest imagination. And, you know, no one can take that away from me. Autumn, Cassie, unfortunately I have some more bad news. Things are a little bit different tonight. Not one, but two girls are going home tonight. <laughs> girls, we struggled over this. We know we're getting closer to finding our next Elle Woods. On one hand, Cassie, I have an actress who's blossoming. You light up when you walk on. Sometimes. And then Autumn, we have a day like today. Up until this last audition, you were right up there with the others, on the top of the list. Today, there was actually nothing to hold on to. That's not gonna get us through a two and a half hour performance. Autumn, Cassie, only one of you are gonna be moving forward tonight. Autumn? You still have a chance to be in this competition. You are moving forward. Which means right now, Cassie, you are cut. We don't see you as Elle Woods. Yes, sir. When the judges told me that I was going home, I was so pissed. I had taken every ounce of criticism that they had given me, and I had applied it to myself. I worked my butt off, and I was improving. And they sent me home. My hopes and dreams of being on Broadway had just been ripped from my hands. I wonder where I go from here and what I do because I don't feel like I really got a chance to show the judges exactly what I could bring to the role.